subliminal simply means outside of the conscious perception. And of course, photography means taking a picture. So that describes in detail actually what the phenomenon is all about. When you get to the point of eliminating subvocalization completely, and therefore you're at a speed going through the pages that it's physically impossible to focus on the words at all, at that point, something very different takes place from reading or speed reading. Number one, there's no sensation of reading because you're not doing the things that give you the sensation of reading. But you are literally taking a verbatim picture of the information as it goes by at the rate of two pages a second or faster. You're doing it with a completely different part of the brain than you read with. And what we discovered was a direct path through the brain to this very specific part of the subconscious part of the brain, which photographs the material. Welch says this is a gift we are born with, and the key to return is simple. It's required that you deal with reading on a repetition, repetition, repetition basis, and I love this expression, until it sinks in. Well, where does it sink to? The fact is, we never got it. We never get what we're reading until it finally is forced into the subconscious part of the brain. At that point, now we have it finally. All we're doing is bypassing that need for that repetition, repetition, going back, back to the very natural, automatic way we learned as young children, where we see it, we have it instantly. And it's gone to the part of the brain that gets it right now. And every one of the people here will experience speeds ranging from 25,000 words a minute to over 100,000 words a minute. Uh, they will take written in-depth tests over the material and they will see scores ranging up uh, possibly even to 100. We'll, we'll see scores, I know, in the 90s.